All right, we are working with section 2.2 today. We are doing substitution, okay? So yesterday we solved them with graphs. We graphed two lines and found out where they crossed, and that wasn't too bad. Today we're going to do it algebraically, so we're going to use it, solve these things with numbers. So we're going to get a system like this, 3x plus 4y equals negative 4, and 2x plus 2y is equal to 2. And what we're going to do is we are going to use math here to figure out what my x and y are going to be. When are we going to use substitution? All right, so I'm going to actually go back here to our notes from yesterday just so we can see one. So, for example, let's look at this problem right here. I'm going to cheat here and uh, give myself some space. So, here's a problem we solved on yesterday's notes. We solved it. Go away. Paste that thing. There we go. All right, sorry. All right, so we've got this equation right here. We had two equations. We solved it graphically. Today, what we're going to do is solve it algebraically. And so today we're talking about something called substitution. Substitution works when you can get a letter by itself pretty easily. Here's what I mean by that. I've got x, y, x, y. If I could get a letter like this x right here, I can get that x by itself pretty easily because all I would have to do in fact, I lied. Let's get y by itself, because I already did it right below. Let's get y by itself. To get y by itself, all I had to do was subtract x. So now I know y is equal to negative x plus 9. They are equal. So what does that mean? If two things are equal to each other, that means I can take one and be exactly the same as that. It's like 1 foot or 12 inches. They both mean the same thing. Uh, we could substitute one in for the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to get one letter by itself, like this guy right here, and then take this part right here and plug it into the other equation for what it is equal to. So y is equal to that. So where this y was over here, I'm going to plug it in right there. So here's my new problem, 3x minus, but instead of the letter y, inside of parentheses, I'm going to plug in what y is the same as. y is the same as negative x plus 9. And that whole thing is going to be equal to negative 5. Okay? Then I'm going to solve. I'm going to get x by itself. So I'm going to distribute this negative. 3x plus x minus 9, because I distribute that negative, is equal to negative 5. 3x plus x is 4x. I'm going to move that negative 9 over, because I don't need that negative 9. Plus 9, plus 9. That's all equal to 4. Divide by 4, divide by 4. x is 1. Well, look, when we graphed this thing, we also set our x value as 1. So we're on the right path here. Okay, x is 1. The other thing we need to do is then solve for y. Well, that's easy. Once I figured out what my x is, then all I have to do is plug it back in. And you can plug it into either equation. You could plug it into this equation, or you could plug it into this equation. I would suggest the easier of the two, and so to me, it's that one right there. So it's going to be x plus y equals 9. Ah, I can't write letters. x plus y equals 9. I'm going to take that 1 and plug it in right there. So I'm going to get 1 plus y equals 9, minus 1, minus 1, y equals 8. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what we said it was going to be. x is 1, y is 8. We used this method, okay? The whole reason I just did that, we used this method. When do we use substitution? When we can get a variable by itself. I'm going to go a little bit further than that. Not only can we get a variable by itself, but we can get a variable by itself easily. Tomorrow we're going to learn uh, elimination, and you've done these things before, but elimination is pretty easy as well. So we're going to talk about both of them. I normally only use substitution if a letter is already by itself, uh, but we can do it in a lot of different ways, and I'll show you some examples of that. All right, so let's look at this. We are solving a system, okay? We know that this is going to use one of our methods, okay? We've, we know graphing. Today we know substitution. Tomorrow we know elimination. We have two equations with two variables, so x and y, x and y. 
This one is set up perfectly for substitution because we already know that y is simply equal to that. So since we already have a letter by itself, we are going to substitute in. So 3x plus 2, but instead of this y right here, I'm going to throw parentheses, and I'm going to plug in what y is equal to. y equals x plus 4. I'm going to throw it in right there. And then I'm going to solve just like we normally do. 3x plus, distribute that to, 2x plus 8 equals negative 2. Put those things together. Uh, get x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 8, subtract 8, 5x equals negative 10. Divide by 5, divide by 5, x equals negative 2. Boom, got 1. Okay, that's the goal. We got to get our x's and our y's. We found x, x is negative 2. And so solving for y should be pretty easy. All I have to do to solve for y is take x and plug it back in. So I'm going to use this equation right here because that equation is pretty easy. Sorry, I'm not the neatest. I'm taking negative 2. I'm plugging in for x. So negative 2 goes right there. Negative 2 plus 4. My y value is 2. My x is negative 2. My y is 2. You could write that as an ordered pair if you'd like. But that is my answer. If I took negative 2 and positive 2 and plugged them in, it would make both statements true, which is what I want. Okay, if both statements being true. Good on A. Let's try B. So on letter B, same thing. We've got two equations. Y is already solved right here. Y is equal to that. And so what I'm going to do is take that and plug it into Y for the other equation. So that's going to go right there, right for where Y was. So negative 3X plus 3. I'm going to go ahead and distribute. Boom, boom plus 6x minus 6 is equal to negative 6. I'm going to keep solving. Combine some stuff. Th negative 3x and 6x is 3x. I'm going to add 6, add 6. So 3x is equal to 12. Divide by 3, divide by 3. x is 4. Wonderful, I got 1. Now I need to find my y. So the best way to solve for y is to plug it back in. I'm going to pick this equation right here because it's pretty easy to deal with. y equals negative 3x plus 3. But I'm going to take this x value that I just found and plug it in. So y equals negative 12 plus 3. Negative 12 plus 3 is 9. So my answer here is 4 comma 9. This guy right here. That guy right there gets me that in the end. If I plugged those things back into the original, it would be a true statement. Shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully we're getting it. Um, we're doing a lot more on the back side. It's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. Let's, I'm trying to find one. Let's do, uh, let's do this one. That's fine. Y equals 4X. I'm going to go pretty fast forward here because all these are pretty repetitive. I'm taking 4X. I plug it in for y because I got y by itself. So 4x plus 2 times equals negative 12. Instead of y, we're going to plug in what it is. I'm going to distribute. I'm going to combine. I'm going to solve. x is negative 1. We take negative 1. We plug it back in. Y equals, if I 4 times negative 1, y is negative 4. Boom, two answers. Let's go to letter D. Same thing. We got what y is. All of these are y equals. Um, I probably should have done a little variety, but I didn't. So deal with it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're taking this. We're substituting in. So negative 4x minus instead of y. So throw it in parentheses. Those parentheses are really important there. We're going to distribute. Boom, boom, negative 4x plus 4x plus 4 equals 4. Negative 4x plus 4x, those two things cancel. I get 4 equals 4. I don't have any x's or y's anymore. Is 4 equals 4 a true statement?
Yeah, 4 equals 4. That's a true statement. If you are doing a problem and the x's and the y's cancel and you get a true statement like 4 equals 4, the reason that is happening is because both equations are the same equation. We have this one right here. Well, look at this equation. If I get y by itself, so I'm going to add the 4x to the other side. Ah, sorry. That should be a plus sign. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking this equation. I'm taking this negative 4x. I moved it to the other side, so I got plus 4. And then I divide it by negative 1. Well, guess what? This equation right here that I got from the, is the same as that one. And if I have two equations that are the exact same line, you're going to get infinitely many solutions. So as we do substitution, if the x's and y's cancel and we get a true statement like 4 equals 4, that is infinitely many solutions. Be careful of that. That'll pop up every once in a while. Let's try one more here. Let's do this one. Letter E. Boom. Got that. So let's plug it in. I'm going to substitute in for y. If I'm substituting in for y, I'm plugging in 5x plus 8. Distribute negative 10x plus 10x plus 16 equals negative 4. Uh-oh. Negative 10x and positive 10x, those two things are going to cancel because they're, they get you 0. And then I get 16 equals negative 4. Is the x, and there's no x's and y's. It's just 16 equals negative 4. Is 16 equal to negative 4? No, 16 is not equal to negative 4. 16 is equal to 16. So if you get the x's and y's to cancel and it's not a true statement, this is a no solution problem. What happened here is we're going to have the same slope. So if I got y by itself here, it'd be 2y equals 10x minus 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. Y equals 5x minus 2. Here are my two lines. This one right here and this one right there. Well, what's true about them? They have the same slope. They are parallel lines, but they have different y-intercepts. And so think about what that looks like. You're going to have two lines here. If I graphed it, one would be here at positive 8 with a slope of 5. So it would be that line right there. The other one would be down here at negative 2 with a slope of 5. Those two things are never going to cross. So if they never cross, it's no solution. So if you're solving with substitution and you get a statement that is not true in the end, no solution. Statement that is true with no x's and y's, many solutions. If you just solve it and you get an x, plug it back in and you get a y. Okay, That is substitution. Substitution solves systems and it works best when you have x or y already by itself. We'll talk about elimination tomorrow and understand a little bit better. Hope that helps.